My name is Michael Coyne and I'm a documentary photographer. Every day I'm trying to break the mould. Every day that I pick up my camera, I'm trying to do a better picture. I'm trying to challenge myself to produce something better than I did the day before. So breaking the mould is like pushing yourself to the limit all of the time. I don't just pick the camera up and hope that I'm going to get something. I pick the camera up and try to achieve something that is interesting, challenging, that is better than I've done before. So all the time I'm trying to make a picture that's fascinating, interesting, and engages viewers. I want viewers to look at it. So the only way to get viewers to look at your images is to make them interesting and have some emotion in them. Fujifilm has made it more accessible than ever before for photographers to upgrade from full frame to a large format digital camera. With the camera having a five axis in body image stabilization, it allows you to shoot sharp and clear images. You're always going to need a tripod if you're doing a very long shutter speed and sometimes you want to get the stars moving in the sky, sometimes you want to get the river moving, but if you just want to travel very lightly and you're just shooting the every average everyday situation you don't need a tripod because you can so get down to such a slow shutter speed and hand hold it that it makes an enormous difference but with this you have no problem with a 15th of a second 15th of a second it's just easy for this camera it just takes it beautifully You've got 19 simulations, you've got so many choices. You know, if you've got very flat lighting, you can change to another colour that will give you a little bit more edge or a little bit more colour. Or if you've got too much saturation, you can bring it down a little bit. So you're doing all the work within the camera, which is really important because at the end of the day, the less you have to do on your computer, the more you're producing in the camera, you're getting a much better file. I used a simulation called the Turner. I, I was sitting in the kitchen one morning and the light came through the window and there were these flowers there and they just lit up. They were just beautiful. Just sat there alone under that beautiful light. And that's the sort of thing you can get with those 19 simulations. That's what you want to do. You know, I'm not changing anything. I'm not altering anything. I'm using the camera to the maximum. I did a portrait with it of a woman and I just had some beautiful soft lighting hitting her face and all you can see is her eye, her hand, and she's covered in a black mask and a black uh, scarf. And there's white light coming across the back and all of these details are beautifully picked up on that A-cross. I couldn't ask for a better black and white than that. I blew up that woman in black and white on my screen and the detail is phenomenal. I'm looking at every stitch on that mask. The, the detail there was just exquisite. I need a camera that's dust and weather resistant. This is so important for my work. In fact, it's so important for any photographer to know that if the picture's there and the weather's bad, you can still go out and shoot it. It's light. And so while you're walking, you're not worried about it. You can walk a long distance and you, can, you know that the camera is going to perform extremely well, but it's also not heavy and that's really important. And you know, the things I really like about it is the fact that it has these dials on top that you can see immediately you look down to the top of the camera, you can see what your aperture is, what your histogram is, what your ISO is immediately. So you're not fumbling around with a back or anything else. It's quick and easy to work. With landscape, you know, I, off, I like to go and have a look at the place first, if I can, because research is terribly important because you go and look at the area you're going to shoot, you know where the light's going to be, you know what lens you're going to need, you know where you're going to be, have to stand. So it's terribly important to do some research about it. So I was working in Scotland several years ago and we we're working on an island and we went down to this place that I wanted to photograph and it was snowing and it was cold and it was miserable and I thought I'm never going to get a picture and all of a sudden late in the afternoon the rain stopped and the sun hit the buildings and it was magical and it was just that moment I shot several frames clouds came over the storm came back poured with rain and the picture was gone but that moment was magic. I 
I mean, it's those moments that you keep waiting for and watching for and looking for and all of your life as you're taking pictures. I walk a lot and everybody that does my job walks a lot. I always have a camera with me. In fact, that's the best advice I can give to people who want to take pictures. Have a camera with you because you never know when you're going to see something. The street photography I just did with the GFX 50S Mark II were done because I was walking down the road. I was just walking down the road. The light was right, the moment was right, I took the picture. Now if I hadn't had the camera with me, I'd have missed that magical moment. And that's what you're trying to do, capture that magical moment. The new Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II breaks the mold.